Hi, I'm Craig from Ford, and we are coming to you from Ford's Media Lab. I am here with Brian McCleary. Hello. Brian, why don't you tell uh, everyone what you do at Ford? Yeah, so I work at Ford Motor Company in the digital marketing team where I specialize in social and emerging media. Awesome. Brian actually just uh, came back from E3, yes. the International uh, Gaming Conference. Brian, why don't you give some highlights from your trip to E3? Uh, it was a great show. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm still trying to catch up on sleep. <laughs> uh, lack of sleep, a little too much caffeine, but a good show overall. But uh, This year was mostly about hardware announcements. So Nintendo came out and announced the follow-up to their Wii system. Okay. Stayed with the Wii name, but added U to it, so the Wii U. The Wii U. The Wii U, correct. Um, so it's a system that uses a tablet as your, your controller. Okay. And then they showed uh, you could actually like the golf games, so like Wii Sports where they have golf. You actually put the tablet down on the ground, you look down and the ball was like in a sand trap. And you hit it and you see it in the sand trap and it goes off the tablet and goes on your TV. I know, futuristic. It's pretty cool. Wow, um, so a lot of sort of interconnectivity between devices. Yeah, and that was, that was kind of a big theme you'll see uh, of the show. I, I don't want to keep talking about it more, but another really cool thing I saw was PlayStation came out with their new portable device called the Vita. So it's a follow-up to the PlayStation Portable, but this device uses touch screens too. So there's a touch screen on the back, so while you're playing the console, you can you know push your fingers on the back and do touch screen things there. I think a lot of people might be asking though, what what does gaming have to do with Ford Motor Company? Um, and I'd love if you could just take a minute and maybe explain why we uh, why we I don't know, revere uh, gaming so highly at, at Ford. Yeah, so that's a lot. That's a question we get a lot. Is you know why are you so heavy involved with gaming and how, why does it make sense? And I think it's a market that has gone somewhat untapped by some of uh, you know other companies out there. And uh, it's something that we really want to an, an audience we want to talk to. Right. So the thing that I say is gaming isn't something you do; it's something you are. So our generation grew up playing games. So I remember being four and getting my first Nintendo Entertainment System and my Super Nintendo and playing them forever. And right. I, you know, I'm close to 30 years old now and I still play games. You know, a lot of people think it's your teenager playing in your parents' basement, living off of Mountain Dew and Cheetos, where it's not. But another big thing too is that consumers are consuming their media in a bunch of different places. Right. So in gaming consoles and games overall are just another place where we can talk to them and you know, serve up a relevant message. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we're coming in and just hitting them over the head with a Mustang, you know, hey, here's Mustang, but you know, we're, put, we're weaving our vehicles into the game, but giving something back to the consumer at the same time. So a lot in terms of experiential. Yeah, it has the, 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 the overall strategy, I'd say, of you know, what we do at Ford is we have to give something back. So whether it's you know in you know it's in-game reward items, so like T-shirts for your avatar, you know stuff for your virtual environment, you know gaming points, um, you know behind the scenes looks of things, or even sponsoring downloadable content. That's something we have to do. Okay. Um, and then speaking of, this is a great segue, Brian. You have some announcements uh, yes. that you're going to uh, give to our uh, Ford Story fans out there. Yeah. So starting last week, actually, the uh, Focus is available now for download inside The Sims 3. So you can go to The Sims 3 and you can download the Focus Sedan as well as the uh, Focus Neon Knights package. Then you also get some other reward items. You get this really cool futuristic looking CD player and you also get a few other things for your you know, Sims, Sims home. Okay. Um, so that launched last week, Tuesday. And then later on this year we're going to show off the sedan in the, in the game and something really cool that I can't even talk about that we're doing, so teasing you a little bit. Stay tuned. Yes. So, and then the other really big thing is, is starting on Thursday, June 17th, uh, the Ford showroom will be, be available inside of PlayStation Home. Oh, wow. So PlayStation Home is a virtual environment that lives on PlayStation's network mm -hmm. and it allows users to go in and experience a whole virtual environment on their console. Cool. So it's an area that we, you know, I've worked with Sony with almost for the past year. You know, a lot of collaboration with them, and we're working with our agency team, Detroit, to come up with this really cool environment where users can go in and check out our vehicles in an environment they normally wouldn't expect. So you can walk into the showroom, talk to a uh, Ford representative that's in there, yeah. like a non-playable character, we'll call him a dealer, and then you can go in and actually experience the Fiesta and the uh, the Ford Edge. And you can get inside these vehicles and look around and see what's going on and experience, you know, what the interior is like. But we also have mini games inside of here too. Okay. So it's going into some of these mini games that we have for, you know, multiple different features on the vehicle, and you can go in and get really cool reward items. It's like Inception. It's a game within a game. Inside of a game. It's 
we're going to leave it at that. Yes. Ryan, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, make sure to check out PlayStation Home and uh, Sims 3. Uh, thanks very much. This is Craig. See you.